Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Script Note Show. Uh, normally I usually record these on a weekly basis, but uh, one bit of business and finance news that came out today was the uh, yield curve uh, did an inversion, and usually when that happens there could be signs of potential trouble ahead on the horizon when it comes to a recession. So I uh, just wanted to uh, share the latest from uh, Market Watch. Uh, currently the Fed isn't on a red alert after the inversion um, and they're not moving into recession fighting mode after the treasury yield curve inverted today for the first time in a decade and they won't decide on a course of action until much closer to the next interest rate policy meeting on September 17th to 18th economists said Wednesday. I wouldn't look for a Fed message this week or next said Michael Gappin chief U.S. economist at Barclays. Only two weeks ago Fed chairman Jerome Powell stressed that the central bank's July rate cut was a mid-course correction only. Officials are not going to be quick to abandon that strategy even if the market is signaling it is not enough, economists said. Fed officials were divided last month on the need for an interest rate cut, with two policymakers dissenting against the move. Those opposing the rate cut are skeptical that the yield curve is a valid signal of a recession. Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren, who voted against the monetary policy easing, said last month that the 10-year yield had fallen along with global interest rates. With the Fed trying to hold to a mid-course correction and a split committee, the central bank will use the next month to review fresh economic data or White House policy developments. Another interest rate cut is expected in September, though. Gappin said the U.S. August payrolls and unemployment report to be released on September 6 will be an important gauge of whether the rate cut will be a quarter or a half percentage point. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell will have to look at what the market is pricing and have to take a decision on whether to push back or go along with what is expected. Right now, the market is pricing in 34 basis points of cuts in September. The Dow Jones is down more than 600 points on renewed recession fears Wednesday at the time of this recording, and former Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen said Wednesday that the odds of a recession have risen and are higher than I'm frankly comfortable with. But, she added in an interview on the Fox Business Network's Wall Street Journal at large with uh, Gary Baker that the yield curve may be a less good signal than in the past. There are a number of factors other than the market's expectations about the future path of interest rates that are pushing down long-term yields, she said. Uh, the Fed is still uh, working on the theory that this is a mid-cycle adjustment. It is hard to sell a half-point cut after a 25 basis point cut as a mid-cycle adjustment. Jacob uh, Ubina, senior U.S. economist at RBC Capital Markets, thinks the Fed will ultimately go along with what the market has priced in. Ubina doesn't think the yield curve is a valid indicator of a recession this time, but he said the Fed will not want to upset the market by pushing back on their expectations. To do so would risk financial turmoil that could dent consumer confidence, he said. So just wanted to uh, share kind of the latest on one of the uh, larger pieces of news today. Um, certainly something to keep an eye on um, for everyone that might be looking at their portfolios uh, you know the biggest thing like they always say is just you know, especially if you're of the buy and hold mindset to just keep going uh, but you know certainly seek the advice of any uh, uh, investment professionals uh, hope this uh, helps and we'll talk to you again soon see ya